Here again we have a triangle with sides 13, 14 and 15. In the previous two videos we saw what is the area of that triangle and the radius of its inscribed circle. The area is 84. Now we'll find the radius of its circumscribed circle, also known as the circumradius, but first we'll show what the area has to do with the circumradius. The area of a triangle is equal to a times ha over 2. But this angle is gamma, so the sine of gamma is equal to ha over b. Which means that ha is equal to b times the sine of gamma. So the area is equal to a times b times the sine of gamma over 2. For what follows, we'll need two things which we won't prove in this video. First, if two inscribed angles intersect the same arc, then they are equal. And second, any inscribed angle that is opposite to a diameter of a circle is equal to 90 degrees. Let's draw a diameter from B. And let's call this point D. Now, angle ADB and angle ACB both intersect the same arc AB, which means that they are equal. So, this angle is also gamma. And since BD is a diameter, then the angle BAD is equal to 90 degrees. That means that the triangle ABD is a right triangle whose one angle is gamma, so the sine of gamma is equal to AB over BD. But AB is equal to C. And BD is equal to 2 times the radius since BD is a diameter. Now, when we put this, instead of the sine of gamma in the expression for the area, we get that the area is equal to A times B times C over 2 times R over 2, which is equal to A times B times C over 4 times R. Let's now return to our problem. The area is equal to A times B times C over 4R, which means that the circumradius is equal to A times B times C over 4 times the area. And in our case, that is equal to 13 times 14 times 15 over 4 times 84 but 15 is equal to 3 times 5 and 84 is equal to 2 times 3 times 14 so 14 and 14 cancel out 3 and 3 cancel out which means that this is equal to 13 times 5 over 4 times 2 which is equal to 65 over 8 and that is equal to 8.125 with that in mind, I leave you with this question. What is the circumradius of a triangle whose sides are 3, 4 and 5? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.